Like a geo office, copy a project. This video applies to most versions of LGO. There are times that we want to do something to a project that we may not be sure of, or we just want an interim backup so that we can start at a various point as we add more data. There's somewhere that we may want to go back to. And one easy way to be, uh, facilitate that problem is to just highlight the project that we want to uh, uh, go back to and create a copy. So first, let's take a real quick look at this little project called Demo3. Uh, we can see that we've got some GNSS vectors. We've got some total station measurements uh, based off of a smart pole setup. We've got some auto points along a curb along the easterly edge of the property. And maybe we want to try something here that we're not sure about. So uh, let's close the project for the moment. And then what we can do is right click the project area, copy, and we get a dialog. And it asks us uh, what we'd like to uh, um, name it. And we'll just call it dash copy, or you can do whatever you want it to do. And then we'll say OK. So now, if we take a look, we've got our Demo 3 project, and we've got our Demo 3 copy. Well, let's open up the copy, take a quick look here, and maybe what we want to do is or delete uh, the reference triplet at, uh, that's the stem of those GNSS measurements. Uh, so it tells us it's going to be deleted and bad things are going to happen, and sure enough, they are. All our GNSS observations now are showing as autonomous positions because we've taken away what they were referenced to. I probably didn't want to do that, but no ill effect in this case because you'll see that if we go back to our original Demo 3 project, everything remains intact. So like I say, for uh, you know interim backups or for trying something that we're just not too sure about, the copy of project is a very effective method. As always, if you require more information, check our website at lika-geosystems.com for support, send an email to survey.support at likaus.com or you can make support inquiries and obtain other information from MyWorld. If you haven't registered for MyWorld, we'd recommend that you do so now.